What up, Yerp? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan, the gaming. Man, uh, this video right here is just a video, you know, where I'm going to talk about how much I hate Microsoft right now. Microsoft can go suck some balls, yo, like for all I care, you know. Um, Basically, you, you guys saw my one of my, um, my older videos where I showed that my third Xbox ever got the red rings of death or whatever. So... I made a video and I showed you guys, you know, that, you know, it had the E74 error and, you know, that's the two red lights or whatever. So I showed you guys that and I believe on that video I told you guys that I was, I talked to Microsoft and they uh, told me that they were going to fix it and I, and I was getting ready to ship it off. Um, yeah, so basically, you know, I talked to, it was the 24th of, uh, of July. <laughs> talked to one of the guys on at Microsoft support I told him my problem and he checked my serial number you know how they, they usually do they check your serial number to see if you still have the warranty for it um and he saw the warranty was still good on my um my console so I was like alright but I want to give you a warning I was like uh I want to warn you yo but this this Xbox is a, a refurbished Xbox from GameStop now if you guys don't know what refurbished means refurbished means that it was a broken console and what the GameStop did was they repaired it and when you repair an Xbox you have to go inside the Xbox and you have to uh, you know when you go inside there's a warranty sticker on there and this is so Microsoft will know if you tamper with the system so when you go and repair you have to rip the system off because you can't open it unless you rip the, uh, the sticker off so I, I warned him. I told him, okay, yeah, this console is refurbished. And I explained that, you know, GameStop went in and worked on it. And the, the sticker was more than likely ripped. My man goes, oh, you know, that's fine, you know. Um, your warranty is still good. So, you know, all you have to do is ship it out. And I'll send you the information. And, you know, we can get this taken care of. And I was like, all right, bet. And then I was like, uh, that's what's up, man. I, I didn't think you could fix a refurbished system because... The sticker would be uh, ripped off from the warranty sticker, and it'll be voided. And he's like, "No, nah, no, nah, what we can do, man? We can, uh, we can just wait for this, and uh, well, you know, I can send you the information uh, via email, and you know, you get a box, and you put the the picture on the email, and you send it off, and we'll repair it." So, <clears throat> so I got the, you know, I got the papers he sent to me, printed them out, got a box, you know, put it on the box, and then I uh, took the box up to Staples before I went to work. Cause I work like next to Staples, so I took it up to Staples so UPS could pick it up, <clears throat> and um, they took it. So <clears throat> two weeks goes by, <clears throat> and two weeks would be last week on Monday. So you know, I, I see that I get my Xbox back on Monday. I'm like, wow, bet I'm gonna check this joint out as soon as I come back from seeing this chick or whatever. So I, I come home from uh, visiting this female or whatever, and I come back in the house and. I decided I wanted to play it, so I plug it up, power that sucker on, then boom, two red rings. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's good? Then I see like I see uh, when it was in the plastic wrap, it had like this little white piece of paper on it. So I pull out the paper, and I'm actually show you guys the paper. <laughs> this is the paper right here. Oh, that's Spanish right there. I don't know if you guys can really see that. All right, see that right there? So, you see that it said, uh, my console was tampered with and open it had prime marks on it so they didn't repair it so I'm tripping I'm like yo dude told me they would repair it <laughs> so I call Microsoft up and I tell them what happened I'm like yo uh, my system messed up it was a refurbished system from GameStop and I talked to one of your agents and he told me that my console was going to get fixed and I get it back today which was last week I get it back today and I see my console is still broken what's going on and he looked up the files he was like yeah your console uh, was tampered with and yada 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 and I was like yeah I see that and but the guy told me that it was gonna be fixed 
So why wasn't it fixed? So I'm upset. I'm like heated. I'm about to wild this dude out, even though he probably ain't had nothing to do with it. But <laughs> but then uh, he he tried to give me the run around. Like, well, we, you know, it was tampered with, so we can't do anything about that. Only thing we can do is you have to pay uh, one nineteen ninety nine or whatever, and send it off to us, and we'll repair it for that. And then I'm like, wow, why would I have, why would I want to send one nineteen ninety nine when I could buy another refurbished one for like one fifty? And I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, that's retarded. Cause dude told me that he was gonna fix it for free. He said he was gonna fix it for free. So he gave me false expectation to lie to me. And I'm sitting here for two weeks waiting for my console to come back, and it comes back broken. So I'm tripping. I'm like, yo, like, can I at least get like a compensation? Like, can y'all fix my thing for free? Because I was told that it was gonna be fixed. And I, you know, you do that, in the, you do that somewhere else, man. You tell somebody it's gonna be done. You gotta do it. And he like, man, that's nothing we can do. But we can only we can do it for one nineteen ninety nine. So I hang up. I'm mad. So I'm like, nah, bump it. I'm gonna call back. So I call back again, and um, this this female answer this a female agent. So I'm like, can I speak to the to the supervisor? She like, all right, bet. So she put up the information. See, she see everything I just did, and she gets the supervisor on the phone. And I tell him the whole same story, and then this dude, he was real funny. He tried to. He tried to be a little smart ass and everything, man. He was real funny with it. So he was like, uh, <clears throat> what did he say? I told him the whole story. He was like, well, um, well, we can't fix it. That's, um, that guy didn't give you the wrong information. What happened was he gave you a lack of information. Uh, he didn't tell you the, dis the disclaimer. Um, we can still, you know, check and see if we can repair your system as long as you're still in warning even if you did tell him that it was a refurbished system meaning that they probably worked on it and went inside of it I'm like yo like why would you make me waste all my time sending a system down that you know you're not going to fix that's stupid and he's just still going around like saying like well well, well, why would you buy a refurbished system anyway you work at a retail store why would you buy a refurbished system I'm like yo Homeboy, I didn't work at a, re a retail store when I first bought this, the system. I worked at a restaurant. And he's like, oh, well, oh, oh. And I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, that's stupid, son. So, no, that, why would you take something even if you know you're not going to fix it? That doesn't make any sense to me. And he just kept trying to go on and say, well, it wasn't misinformation. It was a lack of information. So, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, all right, bet. So, I told I told him, I was like, um, you need to do something because I need to be compensated because this is retarded that my system's still broken and you guys promised me that you were going to fix it so he was like alright I'll send something to the upper people and we'll give you a call by tomorrow so tomorrow comes and it's like 11.50 something I didn't get a call at all so 12 o'clock hits it's the next day I'm like alright bet so I'm going to call now so I'm, I'm upset I call and I ask for the supervisor again um, and this time they got me connected to a different Microsoft office so I get a supervisor named Ray so I talk to Ray. I tell Ray everything. Ray isn't like the other dude. Ray like, oh wow, that's horrible. Wow, I can't believe that. And I, I explain the story. I'm like, yeah, why would you tell me that you could fix my system, and and then you know send it back to me messed up after two weeks and give me false expectations and uh, false hope and all that stuff, man. And he's like, yeah, that's horrible, man. He's like, he was like, that's like, you know, my mom told me she was going to get me a cheeseburger from a store that I, I was waiting to get. And then I go and open the bag and there's no cheeseburger in there. I'm like, yeah, exactly. And he's like, yeah, I, that's horrible, man. We got to try to fix that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hit escalations, um, get escalations, all your information of what happened, what you're going through. And uh, we're going to try to get it to corporate. And hopefully, you know, corporate will try to compensate you on your system because that's horrible, man. That, that's that's that was a lot of misinformation you got. Now you heard he said misinformation. The other guy tried to say it was lack of a lack of information, trying to you know lie. So that went through and all that. So I was waiting. You know, I waited like a day or two later. I'm like, all right, bet I'm gonna wait for it. Um, for the phone call. They said about 48 hours. So uh, the, the the second day comes. And I didn't get the call, so I called back. I'm like, um, yeah, I talked to these supervisors and all this stuff, and I'll give you the, ref uh, the reference number so you can see why I've been calling. And um, I'm supposed to be getting my console, I mean, seeing if uh, the corporate is going to compensate me for my console. So they got another supervisor up there it's from a different branch or whatever, some other supervisor. And he's like, yeah, um, we, uh, 
pulled up the information from corporate and from what we see they denied all compensation on your console we are not going to be able to repair it but you can you know pay 119.99 and we we'll repair it. i'm like what the hell like why would i want to yo like that's the dumbest thing in the world and I'm, I'm like real mad i'm like yo that's stupid your dude told me wrong information and told me my xbox was going to be fixed and it wasn't and i don't you know this is the worst customer service i've ever had in my life yo like i've been a uh I've been with your company since 07, buying monthly subscription fees and all this other stupid stuff. Bought three different Xboxes because you, you seem like your, your consoles can't stay together. They, they last for like a year or two and then they, they burn out. And by that time, the warranty is over with. So we got to send you 119 for a fix or buy another console. Even the new Slim ones even mess up. And I'm like tripping like, yo, I'm about to go to PS3 because I know a PS3, yeah, they mess up. You get the, you know, the one yellow light or whatever. But how many, ca like, cases have you seen compared to the, the, the Xbox is messing up? Like, it's retarded. And I was flipping. I'm like, man, I'm about to buy a PS3. So right now, I'm thinking I, I should buy a PS3, even though I still want to get another Xbox because it's some games coming out for the Xbox that I want. And I got a lot of friends on there and all the games I have for my Xbox now. So, but I'm thinking the PS3 would be a better bet. And I told him, I was like, yeah, the PS3... Um, first of all, and it's free to play the games online, and I'm paying like thirty dollars for three months or sixty for a year, and you can't compensate me for one system. So I was like, man, fuck y'all, man. I, I got off the phone, man. I'm I'm still heated. That's why I haven't had a lot of videos up. Cause I've been mad the whole time, man. But yeah, I just wanted to get this out of the way and let y'all know why I haven't put any videos up recently, and why I don't have any Xbox footage or NCAA or Madden um demo reviews or anything like that, cause. I'm sitting here for the Xbox, yo. This is my Xbox is in this stupid box right here. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's in that stupid box. And here's my older Xbox is sitting here collecting dust because they're broken. But yeah, man. Um, I'm gonna have some more computer. I'm gonna have to be on the, the computer playing games for now. But I have some videos up for y'all soon. All right, one.